Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to our digital afternoon update. I'm Victoria Holmes here in the studio. ECU is reporting 28 students and two employees testing positive for COVID-19. Classes started this past Monday with a mix of online and in-person learning. Students are expected to do a self-check-in every morning and wear facial coverings. The school says they're working closely with officials from the local health department to limit the spread of the virus. Governor Roy Cooper is directing nearly $97 million to students impacted by COVID-19. The funds will support K-12 through grade students. Governor Cooper says the funds should protect the physical and mental health of those students and bridge the gap for students with unique learning needs. A judge has ruled against North Carolina Lieutenant Governor Forrest in his lawsuit against Governor Cooper. The Lieutenant Governor attempted to remove some of Governor Cooper's executive orders over COVID-19 restrictions, including the quarantine ordinance. For details about the case and to read the judge's decision, head, to, head over to WNCT.com. And now let's have an update from our meteorologist, Alex Waslinko. Happy hump day, everybody. I'm your First Alert meteorologist, Alex Wasilenko, reporting from the First Alert Weather Center on, well, another typical day in eastern North Carolina featuring heat, humidity, and thunderstorm activity. That is the same chant and catchphrase we've been using over the last couple of days, and why not use it for the next couple more as we have some more showers and storms rumbling into the forecast this afternoon. Those showers and storms will be provided by a trough of low pressure and a sea breeze setting up today. The shower and thunderstorm activity will persist through the early evening. It will fizzle out late tonight and then kick back into action by early Thursday morning as a developing area of low pressure begins to scoot up the eastern seaboard. It's not a tropical area of low pressure. Nonetheless, it will likely deliver tropical-like downpours and thunderstorm activity through much of the day on Thursday. To track all the changes in your local forecast locally or tropically, you can download that free First Alert weather app in the Google Play or Apple app stores. Your seven-day inland forecast calling for seasonably hot and humid conditions today, but check out that dive and temperatures Thursday, Friday, and into the weekend will fall slightly below average by just a few degrees to wrap up the work week and through the upcoming weekend with highs in the middle to upper 80s. Yes, we will continue that active weather pattern too with scattered thunderstorms and showers likely Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and diminishing finally by Sunday. Sunday will likely be the pick of the weekend with just isolated showers and storms to talk about for inland and coastal communities. The temperatures, yes, they may seem cool on paper on that seven-day forecast, or on computer, if you will, but the humidity will certainly make up for those differences in cooler temperatures. Make it a wonderful Wednesday. I'm your First Alert meteorologist, Alex Wasilenko. Welcome back. Here's an update for our Kinston viewers. City workers are making efforts to stop an overflow of untreated wastewater near Wake Avenue in Kinston. The untreated wastewater leaked into a nearby water system. City officials say a cave-in on a 24-inch sewer pipe located next to the Noose River near Wake Avenue led to the overflow. State leaders are offering an expedited reimbursement program for non-congregate sheltering. This is to keep people from spreading COVID-19 during emergency situations like hurricanes. Right now, people are encouraged to seek shelter in hotel or motel rooms or other isolated locations. For more information on the sheltering program, go to WNCT.com. Thank you for joining us for our early afternoon update. This has been Victoria Holmes in the Digital Studio.